Ah, yes, met at Yahoo, Yahoo Canon. American Legion Post 447. This is uh, Round Rock. This is your American pride right here. This is your Jesuit military pride. This is uh, all about pride. American Legion George Johns Post 447. By the way, I have to fix my camera, sorry. I'm kind of nervous a little bit. Just trying to have to go through and get out real quick. Post 447, George Johns, American Legion. Uh, look at all your American pride and pomp, folks. I am not a patriot. I'm not a patriot. I'll never call myself a patriot. Because we've been all put in a mini Petri dish by this uh, military industrial complex. Now, when you come to look at what the American Legion's all about and what it stands for, and I'm not putting down veterans who, who, didn't, who didn't understand what they were doing, but these stars, and there's your sign about the American Legion, uh, these stars are satanic symbols, whether they're upright or down, upside down. Either way, it's a satanic symbol. So I'm gonna kinda of go further into here and see. Now, a lot of you need to understand, uh, and I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go back here. This is the kind of way a lot of Freemason lodges are, these kind of parking lots right here. I've seen these in Rock Hill, as many of you know. Now, back here, I'm just gonna kinda of take a look. Okay, I understand veterans didn't know what they were doing. I, I don't hate military veterans. I just don't like our military industrial complex for what they do to people. And many of them don't even know. They take part in these experiments. Okay. American Legion Auxiliary. American Legion. Sons of the American Legion. Okay. Now, I'm not a patriot. A lot of you want to call yourselves patriots. I'm going to support you in only one way. That is, that you don't take the mark of the beast and that you quit surrendering to this military industrial complex agenda of conquering the whole world. The United States was essentially founded by Adam Weishaupt, uh, an atheist who was of the Jesuit order. Um, and so as I move along here in Round Rock, I, I don't hate military veterans. I want everybody to make it clear. I don't hate military veterans. I despise this military industrial complex. It doesn't defend our country. To all the presidents, defense, national defenses, uh, raiding countries like Libya for gold, Iraq for oil, and um, storming any nation who wants to get off the petrodollar and, and get onto their own dinar or any other gold-backed currency that other nations have tried to do in the past. Um, now, I say all this to say that, I mean, I don't even hate America, but it was founded by basically Freemasons, uh, Freemason Satanists, okay? You're gonna have to learn to accept that fact. You're gonna have to quit believing that America was founded by Christians. Okay, the Jesuit order founded the United States the way it is now because they want, uh, and again, I appeal to uh, Gerald's article on using the Jesuit, the Jesuit order using the United States as, as a war machine. And you look at your American flag and all the stars and the stripes, the 13 stripes of blood, and con of blood, of blood. The red is blood, blood, sacrifice, and the blue is for conquering. And you see that as evident by the symbology for the United States Navy. Now, as I go into downtown Round Rock, um, this has been long a conservative town politically. I mean, north of Austin, and it has taken a lot of good moral stands, but it doesn't matter anymore because you can't tell the difference between Round Rock, Texas and Austin, Texas. On, 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 in any of this anymore. And, that, you know, as we come up on the elections, I want to say that Donald Trump is not going to help you. A lot of you who want to vote, 
you, you vote for a savior besides uh, Yahusha Messiah. You vote for a savior besides somebody you know as Jesus Christ of Nazareth out of the New Testament, out of the New Covenant, or the Renewed Covenant. You don't, when you vote for a political candidate, you're hoping that political candidate will benefit you, and you're hoping that your political candidate will save you. And I'm sitting here trying to tell you, there ain't no political candidate going to save you. I don't vote anymore. After Obama, McCain, I threw in the towel on voting. Last I recall, anyway. And I'm on Mays. I'm on Mays and Maine. And I'm, and you know, I've never actually been here, ever. I've never been over this bridge. This is the May Street Bridge. It's kind of an interesting thing to see here. Uh, all the infrastructure and how we're approaching 26, 27 million dollars in national debt. Can't pay the interest back every year, much less the principal. But, uh, you know, you got to understand, all this is about fortresses. It's about brick buildings. It's about fortress after fortress. Making your own house a fortress of brick. Making your churches out of fortresses. Making your federal buildings out of fortresses. And then churches take over buildings that were once federal buildings when they built their own better ones and their fortresses. And the psalm, the psalms say something quite different than what your churches and your government institutions, which are all part of 501c3, teach you. And that is that, and even Ron Rock has its own bus system now. That's a shock. But the essence of this is is that Yahuwah, our Father in Heaven, is our fortress. He is a mighty fortress. And, and Paul said to tear down every stronghold. Keep holding your thoughts captive to the obedience of Christ Messiah. Yet, your thoughts are being held captive within four walls of many types of buildings like 501c3 churches, like government institutions, like welfare, and I'm not putting down welfare. You, people need it. Uh, like schools, colleges, universities, uh, training centers, Votech training. Keep on going on down the line to figure out that your mind is contained within four walls. But when you go outside, when you go outside into the world, you come to understand that you don't know how to cope with people. And you don't know how to really... Uh, you don't, you don't have a moral compass. And even churches, moral compasses, even if they say Christ, Messiah, or whatever they want to say, their moral compass is lost also because you have to lie to people to get tithe money to fund a mortgage that you should have not done. I filmed a lot of videos this morning again, but I want to illustrate the frivolity of this Babylonian system. Out that way which I'll be heading uh, pretty soon. Out that, I'll be heading east uh, here soon. East, I'll be doing, I'm going east and north. But here, this Babylonian stuff is absurd. I'm going right uh, over where you're going to, you're going to hit, um, you're going to hit uh, Round Rock. And I'll pause this for a moment. Now, as I move along, there's your classic Round Rock or tower of any kind of city. We are approaching uh, the border between Round Rock and Austin, you know, the city line. And as we move forward, you go into Austin and everything is becoming so astro, like Dallas and Seattle and San Antonio and all these places. And you don't want to go up onto that because that's going to that's gonna put you on a toll. And I, I'm not, oh, that's South by 35. So... I should have gone up there, but that's okay. I can do the next exit. There must have been a reason why I didn't go up there. And that's okay because uh, I, I like incidentals. They are not incidental to our father, Yahuwah, by Yahusha Messiah of Nazareth. The name which everybody must name. The name above all names. But look at all this. This is pomp. This is arrogance. This is looks like things are getting better in the world but actually they get worse look out 
you don't think that that center of gravity is being compromised and the pounds of pressure, one day all of this is going to come to rubble. And when it does, and you worship this, and you think this is all great, I don't. I don't want to be in these places anymore. But I, but I, get, I keep getting drugged back here by family problems. And you know, Christ says eventually you're going to have to leave mother and father, brother and sister, houses and home. And once you do, you're going to receive an inheritance up to a hundredfold in this life and in the life to come. And that doesn't mean you're going to be given a big old mansion out in the country or anything like that. But it means he's going to show you how to cope with life outside of these cities. Because you see these things, these are fortresses too. And we're all going to, if you want to stay in these things, you're going to be trapped in them. You're going to be trapped within the 5G. You're going to be trapped within the chemtrails mixed with the 5G. And they're going to expand these places into super regions that I have referred to in other videos as triangular FEMA death regions. A lot of what I'm saying uh, seems like nonsense to many of you who are not yet familiar. But this also focuses on how they're able to corral people into these cities and more and more people become targeted individuals. Like my, I've been targeted from birth. And a lot of people from military families have been targeted from birth. Especially uh, those whose uh, fathers would not go to Vietnam because they love their families. Uh, but understand that I'm, I'm, I'm not a patriot. I don't like any of this garbage for sure. I like the old path and I'm going to hit the old path uh, real soon and sooner than you all are going to believe I will. And I'm going to tell you, if you want to stay in these places, uh, I promise you, you're going to, you're going to face a harder decision than people who didn't want to. But in the end, the military industrial complex is going to think they have conquered. They're going to believe they've conquered. And a lot of them have already infiltrated a lot of the churches, which were already pagan. That's another topic. Your military is full of federal agents and military intelligence officers. And you thought they were just ex-Navy. You thought they were ex-Marines. You thought they were ex-Army and ex-Air Force. And they're still in your churches. And they're hired by the government to spy on you. To get information. This is how Communist Russia did it. This is how other people flushed out the true uh, faith of our Messiah in many places. But I'm going to... I'm down... I'm going I-35 South right now. And I just want to let you all know that... Um, I'm, although I'm not a patriot, I don't hate soldiers, and I don't hate Americans. I'm just disgusted at the pomp and pride of many of you who think America is great. And America is likely going to be the first nation among all industrialized nations to fall by the wayside. And we've got the largest national debt in the entire world, at least fourfold. After that, it's China or something. I think it's Japan at probably 12 or 13 million. So twofold. And then the next ones are China and Russia, which have six or seven trillion dollars. Um, and so understand that our national debt is going to prove us to be the first nation to collapse as new regions of FEMA and NAFTA and all these other regions are going to start to develop into the 10 regions of the world that they're going to use for the New World Order, which I believe are first going to be transferred into, like for the United States, Mexico, and Canada, it's going to be clearly an Amero currency likely and a North American Union first, which other similar regions can be easily transferred and to be merged and collided together into a New World Order that they can more easily manage. But they're going to have to keep working at it. As many of you fall away, and I'm determined not to. Mad at Yahoo, Yahoo Kanan. Do you mean Yahoo Shiyetz Kushaki? Are you ready to, to die for the faith? Are you ready to escape these regions? Are you ready to suffer the consequences of the true faith of our Messiah, Yahusha, uh, Christ of Nazareth? Are you ready? 
ready to die. I want to die for the faith. Whenever he so chooses. But I do value my, uh, my family and I do value my loved ones. And I do value what I will soon show to you is uh, going to happen. Shalom, shalom. I reign a peace. And understand, I'm not saying not to be with your loved ones. I am signing out.